So, this wheel was stuck on. Entirely stuck on. And, uh, first thing that came to mind was heat. Which didn't work. We then move over to violence, which also was a limited success. Yeah. I then reached the startling conclusion that I needed to be creative and make my own uh, wheel pulley. Now I have a wheel pulley, but it's uh, far too small to be useful for this wheel. So the idea is simple. The 3x5, maybe? I don't know. Sits in front with a hole drilled through it. Uh, metal framing around to grab the wheel. And then just um, screw that through, and the pressure, well, it's a makeshift pulley, I think, that's what the tool's called. Now, this um, plate that I've been spending so much time on destroying is to be used as, um, as a washer, just to keep the lug nut from going into the wood instead of leveraging the wheel off of the axle. And yes, I do realize that my drill is set at a way too high speed, but when it comes to drilling metal, I'm impatient. And here I'm just gouging out the sides so the breaker bars that I just drilled have somewhere to rest and be able to be screwed in. As you can tell, this tool is made for um, lasting a while, which is why we're using random pieces of wood and plate metal not designed for any much stress, and of course wood screws. Yes. Not to mention perfect perfect alignment. Everything measured down to the last millimeter. Swear to God, in a room, in a room the size of a toolbox, I managed to lose the biggest fucking. I have a vice. No, I don't. I have a. What's it called? Crescent wrench. Adjustable wrench. One of these. And it's huge. It's enormous. It's by far the biggest hand tool in here. And it's the only one I can't find. Absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure that the wood frame is going to go any second. It's creaking and cracking. What's well, creaking? The cracks are 